Welcome back to Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale. Just checking in with you. It's been quite a few Sundays. Um, recently, last Monday, I went to Viejas Casino and Resort. Well, needless to say, they have this like really expensive buffet and I went to it. Not Weight Watcher approved. I did eat some things that were healthy, but some things that were non-healthy. Then I've been eating different things throughout the week and not doing my tracking. If you're not tracking, then you're not on Weight Watchers. So that's another problem within itself. Um, every now and then, you have your days. You're not perfect. You feel just out of control. And I feel out of control. But I'm getting back on track. And I even brought some like oatmeal for dinner tonight for work and a banana and I have um, some orange slices I know it sounds exciting oh and a yogurt too um I was up four pounds at weigh-in today I was up one pound last week mm, that's a total of five and it's point something so it, it rounds off so a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, I got back to 170 from 167. Now I'm back to 176. And I'm just like, yeah, well, am I going to pass out? I have not passed out because of it. Um, Yeah, I won't say my pants are really tight or anything, but um, I noticed the uh, six-pound weight gain in my own clothing and my body, how I feel. Still feel amazing, just a little um, six pounds heavier than I was, but this too shall pass as part of the journey. And like my mom said, well, you're nowhere near what you were when you started. It's been almost a year on the Weight Watchers, so started off at 199.4. So 176, 167. My body really likes the 170s. It just wants to stay there and relax and it's up to me to fight past it. It's just really hard. So, been another um, five weeks in the 170s for me. The 160s only seem to last about a week. Then it goes away. Then it comes back. Then it goes away. Then it comes back. So, I'm just playing this tag team with myself. But the hardest fight is the fight you fight against yourself. So, oh. I'll be okay. I just wanted to share with you. Everything is not coming up all roses all the time. No, I'm nowhere near perfect. But if you're going to share your journey with somebody through food addiction, know that it's really a real, real thing. It's real. And I don't sugarcoat anything. Yes, I'm having a moment. And I just want something good every now and then. You just get bored with eating healthy. That's the problem. And then this would be a time where somebody would say, Well, you know what? I just don't think I want to do that anymore. But guess what? I'm not going to give up. Because if I give up, I'm giving up on Lisa. I can't do that. I won't give up on me. Don't you give up on you. You keep continuing to watch these videos. I'll stay positive and motivating. And I just want you to know that somebody out there cares about you. I do, if no one else has told you. I care about you and you you matter and you're worth it. So just take care of yourself. Do the best you can do. Um, I know one thing. I haven't been drinking as much water as I should. You need to drink a lot of water. And I've just been kind of half half ass drinking water, half ass tracking. Um, I was doing Zumba a whole lot, and then my body seemed like it got used to the Zumba, so I stopped the Zumba and got lazy as far as that goes. Um, I go to uh, Planet Fitness. I went there like once, I think, this month. So it's just. I got to get back on track. I've gotten a little slightly on the edge of board with all of this. Yeah, I know you all are watching and everything. And I always just, you know, I just want to tell the truth. But I'll be all right. I'm nowhere near thinking about quitting. I just want to share this with you because this is my platform to share. This is the journey that I'm going through. And I just want you to know it's not always perfect or you see me in selfie land taking all these selfies and everything and every now and then you'll get a full body shot 
Uh, I love me today. That's why I take so many pictures because it was a time before and I didn't love me. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like who was looking back at me in the mirror. But now I absolutely love me. So I take a selfie every now and again and I post them. That's why I have a lot of photos online of myself because I love me today. I can actually say that at 50 years old. I'm in love with me again. So until next time, my good people, you take care of yourself. And I will check in and let you know one way or another if I gained 50 pounds or if I lost 50 or 1 point whatever or 0.2. It's all a part of the journey. Just roll with it. Have a good one. Bye.